You know when you've got a really favourite recipe but you don't want to cook it in the oven because you'd rather be cooking in your Instant Pot Duo Crisp? Well that's what I've been working on this week. So in today's video I'm going to show you how I've converted Mark Bittman's crispy duck legs with aromatic vegetable recipe into something I can cook in the Instant Pot Duo Crisp. And I tell you what, it's pretty good. So let's show you how to do it. Okay, so this is a really simple five ingredient dish. So what you're gonna need is two duck legs. I'm using some free range duck legs here. Two onions, sort of medium sized. A pound of carrots, that's about 450 grams. And the original recipe calls for six celery sticks. I've only got four and that will be fine. And then the final ingredient is some chicken stock or another form of stock. I'm gonna use this chicken glacé diluted down. And it's with the stock that we make our first adaptation for the Instant Pot version of this recipe. So the original recipe calls for two cups of stock to braise the duck in. And actually, when I've been making this in the oven, I often have to add more because it really does dissolve away. But of course, with a pressure cooker, we don't need to worry about any of that. So what we're gonna do is reduce the amount of stock so that we end up with around one and a half cups of stock or around about 300 mils. So let's make up our stock. first step is to brown our duck leg skin and so I've dried these off with a piece of paper towel, a bit of kitchen roll and then what we're going to do is just put them into the Instant Pot Duo Crisp while it's still cold, skin side down. Give them just a little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt. And if you're using particularly a powdered stock, they can be very salty. So if you're not sure, leave your seasoning until later. So I haven't added any extra fat here. We're just gonna let the duck render out its own fat and that's all we will need for this dish. And then what I'm gonna do is to put the Instant Pot Duo Crisp on saute. I'm gonna have that on low. If yours is on high, you can just repress saute until you get to low. Don't worry too much about the timing. I've put mine on for 15 minutes. So while that's going on, let's get on and prep the vegetables. And this dish is one where we're just dicing all of the vegetables. So I'm going to be using this handy OXO gadget, which helps me to chop up. And if any of you have problems with your hands or your arms or arthritis, then these sort of gadgets can really help us keep cooking. So um, I'm always exploring what can I do to make life a little bit easier. And we're now at 30 minutes, so just two minutes into cooking. And you can already hear that sizzle and you can see hopefully that fat beginning to render out of the duck leg. So no need to add any extra oil when cooking duck like this. So with this little gadget, you can see that it's got a grid and that's a very sharp blade. And then we just close it up over the top with a little bit of pressure. For this dish, it doesn't need to be perfect by the way at all. So you can just roughly chop it if you haven't got a little gadget like this. All of our veg chopped and just about in time we're nearly at the end of the 15 minute saute oh there it goes so now we can just take out those duck legs and put them to one side and now you can see that still in the instant pot there is some duck fat all rendered off there so we don't need to add any extra oil if you've got absolutely loads of oil that's rendered out you might want to get some out at this point and just leave in about a tablespoon of oil would be lovely so we we'll just add in the veggies now into the duck fat and saute them lightly until they cook down and start to release their flavor Okay, so those are beautifully cooked down now. So we're ready to put in our duck legs. We'll just pop them on top of the vegetables. We've turned off the saute now. You can still hear it sizzling, I expect. And we'll just pop the duck legs on top of the vegetables. Pour in our stock. 
So let your duck legs sit on top of the veg and the stock will be all around and just kind of meeting the bottom of the duck legs, but it doesn't need to be covering them. Now let's get the lid on and start stage one of the cooking. We're going to do it on pressure cook high for, to do it for 18 minutes. And while that's cooking, you can peel and chop your potatoes ready to make your mash. So this is the end of the phase one cooking and we're going to add the potatoes into the mix now. So we just press that cooking button. So the weight has dropped and all of the steam is out. Try not to steam up the camera. There we go. Everything's going fine in there. We've still got plenty of liquid. And what I'm going to do is use my handy little riser gadget here. And I'm going to pop that in. Then I've got some potatoes that I want to just cook up and then mash. And these are in a low depth pressure cooker basket. And this is actually from my old stovetop pressure cooker. Get the lid back on. And then we're going to put the pressure cooker back on high again, this time for 12 minutes. So we're going for a 30 minute total. And often mashed potato doesn't take as long as this, but these particular potatoes we've got are taking ages. Click start. We'll let that go. And now you can see that the potatoes are all nicely cooked. We'll take out the little stand. So now here's where the instant pot magic comes in. At the moment, these duck legs, the skin on them could not be described as crispy. And you could take these out and put them under the grill, under the broiler and get them crisped up that way. But of course we've got the instant pot duo crisp, haven't we? So all we need to do now is put on our crisp lid just exactly as is. Swap over your lids and we'll put that on to broil. 204. I'll put it on for 10 minutes and see how it's going. Of course you can check as you go and set it away. And while that final stage is going I can get on with mashing my potatoes and getting my kale cooked and then we are ready to go. And what a joy it is to cook with the instant pot. Now let's see how this is doing after 10 minutes. Oh yeah, and there we have some brown and crispy duck legs. So let's serve up this really comforting duck dinner. Great value. Five ingredients, lots of veggies. What could you want? This duck is just falling off the bone. What an amazing recipe and what an amazing device. And if you like getting creative with the Instant Pot Duo Crisp, take a look at this video and I'll see you in the next one.